Getting students to want to speak is often a challenge and visual aids are great for getting them to overcome this reluctance. Here's a way to make the most of pictures that appear in your textbook. In this case, using cartoons that come from a grammar exercise practicing future forms in Gateway B1+. So, I need a volunteer. Volunteer? In any, come. Now, um, I am going to show a picture to Irene. Irene, you mustn't speak, okay? No speaking. And I want you to be in the same position as the person in the picture. And you are going to ask Irene questions to discover what exactly is in my picture, okay? The problem is that Irene can only answer yes or no. Okay, so Irene, this is your picture. So can you, can you get in that position? Okay, <laughs> right, questions for Irene. Victor. Are you asking us that? No. Uh, Nuria. You can see from the number of hands going up no. that the students really do want to find out what's in the picture, yes. which means there's lots of speaking Jonathan. and thinking going on. No. Laura. Are you a cartoon? Yes. Are you a famous cartoon? No. Of course, wrong guesses about the picture are not a problem at all. The more language that the students come out with, the better. And that's why you need to be careful not to give away too much information too quickly to make them do all of the work. Yeah. Isabel. Are you a waitress? Yes. So, we need a little bit more detail now, no? So, you're a waiter? Yes. Isabel. Even when they've guessed the general idea, make them fill in all the details in order to keep them speaking. Uh, Irene has problems at the moment, I think. Like, Do you have dishes in your hands? Yes. How many do you think? Lots. Yes. And the only thing we need to discover now is like, you said she's going to go down to fall, yeah? Why? No mouse. A banana? Yes. What is on the floor? A banana. A banana, yeah, okay. In fact, thank you, Irene, that was excellent. And that's the picture here. And we said, what is going to happen that the waiter is going to fall, okay? Looking at futures here, can you just um, look at your book, in fact, page 46. Can you open your book there? The picture I've used here leads naturally into grammar work but you could just as easily choose a picture linked to a particular topic and use this activity to lead into further discussion of that topic. With teenage students, variety is important. Waking them up from time to time with activities that are light-hearted but make them think can really help to keep their motivation high. Don't forget to check out the Gateway Facebook page where there are weekly teaching tips to help you with your lessons and also access to Gateway worksheets.